today I'm going to show you how to make my origami T-Rex. Um, this particular model was folded from a sheet of 21 centimeter paper. Um, you can use much smaller paper, it's a reasonably simple model to fold. But we're going to attempt to film this in one take and make this model. So let's start. So this paper is green one side, we'll call this white. Um, I'm going to fold corner to corner, like so. Mm -hmm. model starts with what's known as a bird base. So if you have your own preferred way of making a bird base, then by all means. But folding paper in half, folding the paper in half again this way. Making a pocket, squishing it flat. Turn the paper over. Do the same on this side. Make a pocket. Squash the paper flat. Okay. Now I'm going to fold, with the loose flaps at the bottom, I'm going to fold an edge to the centre crease. Right Other side to match. Triangle at the top, fold down over that, over those flaps. Lift those folds open and then take one sheet, use this crease and stretch the paper as high as you can. This is the first petal fold of our bird base. Turn over, I'm going to make the other petal fold. So, flat to the centre. Lift this up. Right, we have our bird base. We can fold all of the points down to reveal this triangle. And we're going to fold this tip of this triangle to the centre crease. Like so. We're going to do a sink fold here, so I'll make a pretty firm crease. I normally turn the paper over and crease it the other way as well, just to really reinforce that crease. And now we need to do a sink fold, which I'm going to make look difficult, but it isn't as hard as it looks. But I'm going to pull the model open slightly, and we're going to try and push that centre point inside the model. Open the paper out as much as you need point down and then we're going to try and reassemble with that point going down inside the model like so there we are we have a nice sunk point now on this side I'm going to fold a valley crease from the centre there to this point here so let's put one in place from there to there do the same on this side. Now I'm going to fold this point up over those two. I'm going to fold this across and you can see where a sink fold is. I'm going to fold one layer behind so that the layers are symmetrical. Now we should have two big flaps so we can fold up this way. One side and the other, and there we have the model so far. These big flaps are going to be 
rabbiteers. And the way I fold a rabbiteer is I pre crease an edge to the centre both sides. So it's a crease there. I'm going to make a crease this side too. And we're going to use both of those creases and then fold the centre to make our rabbit here like, like this. It's a bit scruffy, apologies. Here we are, there's a rabbit here. We're going to do the same with the big flap on the other side. So pre crease. rabbit ears. Um, these are going to be the legs. This is going to be the head of our model. Um, we're going to start with a reverse fold for the head. And this reverse fold is going to go along this line. So if I open this up slightly, just put in my reverse fold, and the angle we're going to need is exactly straight like that. So there's our reverse fold. And we now need to narrow the head. We're going to valley fold these edges to that line. And when we're going to do that, we're also going to make this, this is going to become a little front arm. Uh, we're going to make a mountain fold there at the same time. It's a little inside reverse fold. Probably easier to demonstrate. So there's the valley fold to make the, the point thinner. And then we'll do a mountain fold here to make the arm thinner at the same time. And they both go together like that. And we've got a little thin point there now. And we're going to do the same the other side. So I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to do it in one go this time. So thin that. Thin the arm at the same time. Make it flat. And then we have the head on its way. Well, to make the front the arms I'm going to fold, really swing this point as far the other way as I can and then with this crease I'm going to make valley fold so that the arm sticks down like that. There we are. I'll do the same the other side. So fold this, swing this point over as far as you can make a valley fold. Those are the arms at the front of the model. Now these tend to want to come open a bit easily so the way to stop that happening is I like to pull out, lift this up, stretch that paper out and I'm going to valley fold the flap the other way. Like that. So I'll show you that again. So the flap was behind, like this, and I'm just pulling some paper out, folding it across, like that. Now this little flap can now tuck inside a little pocket here, and then that kind of locks it in place. So if I put that flap into that pocket, now that will no longer try and unfold. Let's do the same on the other side. So pull out some paper, swing it over, and tuck it in the pocket. There. Okay. We're beginning to get a bit of dinosaur here. These are the arms, this is the head, this is the tail. And it's pointing the wrong way at the minute. So the next thing I'm going to do is a big inside reverse fold so that the tail goes this way. Um, I'm going to do a quick valley fold to show you where it goes. This crease needs to be at right angles to this line here. So if I just fold that like that, 
that's kind of where our inside reverse fold needs to go. So let's do do that fold. So separate layers a bit. So there's our inside reverse fold. There. Now we're getting a little bit of dinosaur shape to our model. There's no reference points for the head, but we're going to make an outside reverse fold so that this head starts to form. So here's my outside reverse fold. And about that sort of angle is that outside reverse fold. Again, we've got some hidden paper here. We're going to make this head wider. We're going to pull out some hidden paper, some extra paper, and then flatten that. And you can see we've got a wider head now. If we look at the other side, you can see there's some extra paper here we can pull out. Let's do that. Flatten the head. There we are. The head is beginning to form. And there we are. Now we're going to make a series of reverse folds to make a, a jaw for our head. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a value fold like that. That's how decide how big your head's going to be. Value fold quite a bit across like that. Now for the jaw, we're going to value fold this point back again. I like to make it so that this line goes through this corner. So here are two of our value folds. And the last one is just level with that corner. We're going to tuck that inside. We're going to value fold back. So there's three simple value folds there. One, two, three, and we're going to turn them all into reverse folds. We'll start with a tiny one at the tip. So we just there we are. And we've made the tip blunt. And now these two other reverse folds we're going to do at the same time. So it's going to be in and an out like this and this. So. There. Yeah, three reverse folds. Um, and then to make the jaw stand out a bit more, we can mounted fold some of this paper behind. I use this center line as a reference. If I mounted fold some paper back like that, the jaw will start to stand out. And we do it the other side. Another mounted fold and it should we should have our head. There is our dinosaur's head. Okay, now we're going to do the legs. Um, there is a reference for the first part, which is to fold the tip of the leg so it touches the tip of the arm. So, simple valley fold like that. What we're going to do, sharp valley fold there. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to mountain fold it back. So there's our valley fold. We're going to make a shallow mountain fold there. So the leg is just going to go a little bit further to one side. Look about that much. So it's just a valley and a mountain fold. Okay. And we can actually lock that leg in place a little by adding another mountain fold just there. Pinch that behind. Hard to see but that is enough to lock the leg into place. So let's do the other leg. Turn it round. This tip to the little arms. Okay. And we're going to make a little mountain fold back. We'll line this leg up with the other one. This is hard to follow on the video then please di download the uh, diagrams because I'm not too sure my explanation is all that clear here. 
Um, now I'm going to narrow the tail. This is quite simple. We're just going to open this out and we're going to value fold these points so they touch the centre line and keep this parallel. So open it out. This point along here. So we've narrowed one side of the tail and we'll the other side the same. Open it out. This goes to the centre line like so. We now have a reasonably narrow tail. Um, I then do a double reverse fold to give a bit of a kink to the tail. That's kind of where I start the reverse fold. I'm just going to do it for you. So it's reverse fold and reverse fold again. Little crimp. And there, the tail has got a little bit of angle to it. And two little mounting folds will lock that in place. So I'm just going to bend some paper back, like so. Oops, jumping around. And another little mounting fold here. And that's how that's our tail complete. We're nearly there. Nearly there with our dinosaur. So um, let's give him some feet. Now these are simple. We're just going to be no reference points, but we're just going to make a reverse fold to make the beginnings of a foot. I'm reverse folding about that much. Okay, and I like to tuck bit of the point backwards to blunt the point of the foot and the other thing I like to do is I kind of give it a bit of a squash like that to spread the foot out hard to see but there we are if you can see that I'll spread it out a little bit okay so that's foot number one let's make the same the other side Reverse fold. Fold a bit of the point back. And then spread it out a little bit. Okay, it's got feet. Uh, nearly there. Two more things to do. First thing is to make these little hands. Uh, I'm just going to make a simple valley fold like that. Have to be quite firm. Press that down. That should be enough to keep the hand in place. Do the same the other side. Sorry, took that out of camera shot. There we are. The little hands. And the final thing I like to do is where the tail is being reversed had the reverse fold done, these bits stick out. If we mountain fold these behind, but don't flatten them all the way back. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. So that's one mountain fold. This one's going to be mountain folded as well. And if I show you from the front, you can see those two mountain folds kind of just cross over and sort of close the front of the model a little bit. There we are. So we have our finished T-Rex. Um, hope you enjoy.